good afternoon. I need evening, two whole morning. episodes without you. You got to carry a little bit. I'll carry. I'll carry. All right. Good morning, ladies. Carry like that bitch with blood all over. Mm, good reference. Very, very topical. Very topical. Yeah. It's Halloween, yeah. baby. <laughs> we should record a Halloween episode in June. Like, Let's just always confuse our listeners as to what day it is. <laughs> it's always like uh, if you put the calendar on shuffle. That's what this is. Well, they get this on Tuesday. Today it's- is the lunar eclipse, Halloween eve- evening, uh, so, uh, spring solstice. Summer solstice. Yeah. Summer solstice. Wasn't that last week? What? Summer solstice? No. I think it's in June, man. Spring solstice was last week. I don't think there is a spring solstice. What's it called in spring? Um, it's where you put the egg, and if it bounces, then it's the day. No. Equinox. Yes. I thought you were doing like Not a ground- to be confused with orange theory. I thought you were doing a Groundhog's Day Easter combo joke trying to confuse me. No, it is like a thing. I don't remember what it is. I think it's equinox. Remember, when you- remember the brooms? An egg can. What brooms? There was like one day, I forgot what it was, but you could like make a broom stand still. I think it's probably a solstice or yeah, Halloween but- maybe or I Harry feel- Potter day. Ooh, maybe it might be Harry Potter Day. Might be Harry Potter Day. Which Harry Potter Day? Oh, uh, it's a Venet. When you turn eighteen? No, it's when the game comes out. Oh, we'll call that. Wait, Harry when Potter. did they go to Hogwarts? Fourteen or thirteen? Uh, you're asking the wrong guy. Twelve or something? I don't know. What do you think Hogwarts is named after? <laughs> is there a guy like Mister Hogwarts, or is it? Like- oh, I'm just thinking of like a pig with warts. Yeah, yeah, a very magical pig with warts. Yeah, that checks out for that land. Yeah, J.K. Rowling is a uh, you know wrote some good books. We don't support her. Not very. Cl- not very, uh, not very clever that one. No, uh, no. Nah. She's a she's not, she's not a great person, right? Wasn't that only the African American character? His name was like Black Blackie, Black Guy Man. <laughs> <laughs> the one black guy they had, Guy Blackman, Guy Blackman. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Anytime it's like a lot of with like a lot of superheroes' names, they're like. I'm trying to think of they're a good lazy. example, but I forgot. They're very lazy. Well, they're all just like so straightforward, right? Because you got Superman's the laziest one. No, but I mean like they're alter egos. Oh, like Clark Kent. So those ones are fine, but Bruce there are. Wayne. I'm trying. I don't. I don't have enough knowledge to like think of a good example. Peter Parker. But trust me on this. Well, well it's just like I feel like they go with a lot of alliteration. Everyone has alliteration. Yeah. Yeah. Except for T'Challa. T'Challa. Yeah. T'Challa. No, no. Wait, alliteration. No, that's not the word I'm thinking of. Is it true that alliteration doesn't count if it's vowels? It sounds. Oh, you mean if it's like if it's. But like, I was taught in elementary school that it's it doesn't technically count as alliteration if it's vowels instead of consonants. That's, like like, if her name was Amelia Earhart. Yeah. That's that doesn't count because it's A's. That's dumb. Yeah. That's stupid. It'd have to it be, definitely counts. Have to be Amelia Earhart. Well, because it is sounds not. Is what this, happened is, to her? <laughs> <laughs> We're a little all over the place today. <laughs> Uh, me, and Mor- me and Morgan had to wake up at fucking... I've been up since 6.30 this morning. I woke up at 7.15. Yeah, I went to bed last night at 3. Same. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling. P- a.m., I mean. Yeah, me too, 3 a.m. I'm struggling. And not because we were partying. No, no. The boys were at work. Yeah. You know, we were having fun at work, but yeah. it was work. Still. I, didn't, I never wasn't drinking. You weren't? I had a beer. That's, that's, a that's not of, drinking. A couple of years. Yeah. And once again. Three, three beers. Yeah, that's well, not five years. That's not drinking? No, it's not drinking. That's no, like, I wasn't drunk. That's I like wasn't eating drunk. Three grapes and being like, I just yeah. had dinner. Yeah, no, you didn't. You had three grapes. No, you had three grapes. Yeah. It's a little treat. That's like eating three grapes and saying I just had a glass of wine. Um, yeah, if you put them in a glass. Yeah, yeah, no. Three you ever grapes. eat grapes out of cups? No. But what were you doing last night? Doritos. Yes, that looked very funny. Doritos out of a cup. You should it have is, bought it's those fun on to stage. Put food in cups, you know? Yeah. I and, used to- and pour drinks onto plates. <laughs> <laughs> I used to. Uh, Red plastic solo cup. I would always take uh, Reese's. Red sick. solo cup. Uh, do, do, I'll do, do, do you up. up. Let's, Let's have, have a party. I've been on a country kick lately. Have you? Country's good. Yeah. A lot you, of Rascal Flats. I was going to say, are you doing like. Uh, the one hurts the most. Mm. He's being so close. Are you doing like uh, popular country or like the new like sad boy country that's like really popular? <laughs> no, it's a. <laughs> that sounded dumb. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> It's mostly like the stuff that I said I hated in high school. It's a lot of like mm. nostalgic country. Gotcha. The bangers. Yeah. Rascal I miss Flies. Mayberry sitting on a porch drinking nice cold cherry. Or what's the one about? Um, she had yeah, a white key stain in my black t shirt. I worked so. No, wait. I worked so, so hard, hard for, for that, that first kiss, kiss, but the heart don't forget something, something like, like that. that. And of course, me and Brother Kyle's theme song. With a little bit of chicken fries. Yeah, it sucks. Cold beer on Friday night. That's a song. A pair of jeans that fit, fit just right. right. And the radio. radio on. 
I did hate the first time. I was like, this song fucking sucks. And you're just like going hard with it. And then it gets like third verse. And it's really well written. One of the best songs ever. Yeah, he's just saying what shit I like. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing about countries. Everyone like, oh, it's, oh, it's like divorce and you lose your truck or whatever. Yeah. It's like, no, they just sing about like beer and, and mud. Yeah. <laughs> In America. Like, two of God's greatest yeah. inventions, dog. <laughs> Don't shit on country. Country truly is white people's gospel. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And we sing along too. Yeah. Because you guys don't really have gospel or do like religious music that well, but I mean, before, if America's a religion, that's the soundtrack. It's like before he cheats, swing low, sweet chariot. Similar, <laughs> similar, you know. Saved as many lives, you know. Yeah. Um, that was like a slavery song, right? Before he cheats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> today is April third. Happy birthday to. The Pony Express. Hell yeah. This was the first time the Pony Express was uh, used. Oh, really? <laughs> the the Penn State backfield? No. Oh, okay. No. I don't think it was Penn State. No, the real. What was the football Pony Express? I know what you're talking about. SMU, about. right? Uh, no, that uh, was it? I think so. I feel like it was around before that, but that wouldn't make sense because they're the Mustangs. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go with that. I think that's what it is. That's what I picture in my head anyways. Um... Pony Express, cool thing. <laughs> Happened. Who gives a fuck, you know? What was that, mail? Yeah, it was like um, pre-telegram mail, mm. where guys would literally get on a horse and ride across the country to deliver mail. Yeah, that's... Hey, you know. just don't talk to those people, yeah. you know? Are you there not over, enough people in your region yeah, of the country? If you live over there, you're over there. Yeah. Um, well, actually, I think that's where we ran into a little bit of trouble, right? What? Just like the Civil War. It's like, you live over there. That was should... north and south. Yeah, but that's because they lived over there and they weren't having enough conversations back and forth. Oh, true. You need a little more cohesion as a country. Well, that's more about states' rights. Yeah. I was thinking... Uh, <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Um, do, you th do you think we'll be alive when the United States collapses and, and folds into separate... Like, we're not going to be the United States forever. Look at what happened to the Soviet Union and shit, you know? Yeah, that was different. Is it? Yeah, because they had, like, armies in, like, their different regions. You don't think we'll get there? No. I think we're fucked because the government just got all of it. Right. I think I think we're uh, kind of beyond. But like, the people got to take the country back. Yeah, but we can't. We can't. How? Meet me at the Capitol. <laughs> Meet me at the riots. <laughs> That's, country guys got to make songs about storming the Capitol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Country and gospel has to make. We need some R&B singers to do it and some country well, you know, singers not, to do it. We're not really allowed to storm the Capitol. If, I think if you come with us, we could do I it. I just think you guys are going to be... You know that meme of the two guys with biceps, the black guy and the yeah. white guy clutching arms? Storming the Capitol. <laughs> we could do it, bro. We just have to unite. The issue with the first storm is that it was just fat white guys. Yeah. It's a bad look. It's a terrible look. Yeah. It was an awful look. If we had some flavor in there... <laughs> there... There was some flavor. I saw a couple... Yeah, but it's flavor in MAGA hats. That's yeah. different. That's not... <laughs> That's like um, if you if someone sells you seasoning, yeah, and it's like, oh, this is fancy seasoning, and you pour it on, it's just salt still. I still because I feel like even you have to wear the MAGA hat for them to know you're. Uh, I'm with you, but that's my point. Is we need it, it can't be just MAGA guys. Well, once again, it's, it's going to take some of you guys opening up and doing some outreach. It has to be MAGA and BLM and Westboro no, Baptist no, no, Church, no, 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 and Hell's Angels. <laughs> if the four of us get together. <laughs> And, and <laughs> storm the capital together. And the people we'll reading books to children in uh, in Tennessee. Yeah. Come on. We let's all got some, an issue. Get some trans people. Uh, let's storm the cap. Because these are all people I like. I agree. Yeah. In in other in, in different, different ways. ways. The Westboro Baptist Church, actually, I'm out on them. Yeah, they're not coming. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's get them out of here. They, we, Very funny antidote to throw them in there, though. We should. But I'm trying to be inclusive. Yeah. <laughs> LGBTQ+. Plus. I think that... Uh, plus the Westboro Baptist Church. Plus the Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> I just like being inclusive. What do they hate again? Abortions or gay um, people? They, to be honest, they kind of hate everything. Yeah. Like, they hate anyone who's not them. Mm. They, pro they protest, like, soldiers' funerals and stuff. Oh. Yeah, it's a... Uh, uh. Which, if there's any group of people you want to piss off, it's friends of a dead soldier. No, but just like... Yeah, other soldiers. But it's just like, uh, I'm thinking, I you can protest the war, but this is... Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, horrible the, people. Yeah, they're If trolls. they're protesting the war, we'd be like, oh, uh, you know, yeah. that's... But they're like, no... God hates, you know. <laughs> They're not even protesting, but it's like, God hates gay people. Yeah. At, at a dead soldier's funeral, his yeah. wife and kids are right there. And the other thing is, like, they're not even saying God hates gay people. They're saying God hates yeah. the F word. Yeah, 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 and yeah. it's like, well, chill. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Even God would have respect for the people yeah. that he hates. He God doesn't say, say that yeah, word. He wouldn't say a slur. Yeah. Did you see that word in the Bible? Yeah. No. Not, not, mm -mm. Um, 
So yeah, we'll, we're out on that. But let's get them to defend the capital, so then we could push them out of the way. Ooh, okay. We'll send them in as like a false flag. And here's the other thing: we're gonna tell the senators and stuff we're coming because yes. we're, we're not there for heads. No, we're there because just because I want to be pres. <laughs> We're there for Lockwood. So we'll be like, oh, go to your safe room. You know, you can do go. Your thing, do your thing. We're You're not free to you. go home. Get in a car. Get in a black SUV. Go back to your fucking mansion. <coughs> it's the people's country now. This is ours. The United States of ass. <laughs> We're changing the name. <laughs> we kind of are the United States of ass. Yeah. That's one thing we agree on. Yeah. Is that the truth? Yeah. Um, we we are it. the United States of ass right now. <laughs> America loves butts. I think we are one of the best political podcasts. So it's us. Uh, what's the guy's name? Hassan. Alex Jones. Us, Alex Jones. Hassan, Hassan Minaj. Yeah. Hassan Ahmad. <laughs> um, hey, we got matching socks today. Nice, dude. Dry fits. It's called continuity. I just bought. Um, it's not what it's called. Dickies. So, nice. Yeah, they're comfy. Yeah. Socks or? Socks, yeah. Oh, okay. Weird. But Why is that weird? I thought you meant pants. No. No, still not ready. Can I, should I buy big Dickies pants? Uh, yeah. I need some new pants. My pants are all tight. Yeah, yeah. That's out of fashion now, dog. Uh, yeah. Fashion needs some. Yeah, get some baggies. <laughs> get some baggy boys. They're back. Get baggy boys and a sweatshirt with a bunch of logos from something on it. Yep. And boom, you're in. Logos on the arms, on the back, on the. And then all you need is like a white t-shirt and like a beanie above the ear. You're like the fucking man, dog. Hmm. My pants are baggy. Are they? Yeah. They're not baggy. I mean, my pants are tight. Yeah, they're regular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I put on pants, I get tighter and tighter. Isn't that weird? Yeah. You know what's depressing? <laughs> Didn't you? When, when your when your underwear is too tight, when you got to go up a size in undies, that's that's a tough scene. Boy, that was rock bottom for me. That wait, that happened recently. Yeah, that's when I was like, I, I got too fat. <laughs> Especially because you lost a lot of the weight it's, too. It's not that I couldn't put them on. Yeah, but it's like these are kind of getting uncomfortable. uncomfortable. And then I bought a pair on accident of the big ones on, ac- I usually on wear, accident. Well, I usually wear XL. Yeah, underwear. All my shirts and stuff are two X. Yeah. So when I bought. Underwear, I wasn't really thinking about 2X. Mm-hmm. And I got it, and I was like, this is huge. And I put it on, I was like, this is coming. <laughs> this is a problem. And then I go, that's ah, not a good thing. Yeah. A size up in underwear is like, no, that's, that's a step yeah, too that's, far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can fluctuate between pants, because like for me, I got mostly 36s, but there's some 38s, so they were not yeah. looking reckless. Uh, the underwears are all the same. And it's like, when I put on pants after a wash, they tight, you, you break them in a little yeah. bit. My underwear, yesterday, I'm fucking walking around, I'm like, oh. God damn! Oh, yeah. shit, it's riding up. It's it's underwear designed not to ride up, and it's riding up. You know yeah, what I mean? It's too, it's too small. Yeah, daddy's got to go on a hike. Yeah, <laughs> daddy's got to get on a diet. Yes, I got to do something. Yeah, diet starts Monday. Yeah, diet starts um, as soon as food stops tasting incredible. You know what? How about this? After Easter, diet. Sure, for for Jesus. Yeah, for G- for no for, for us, so we don't see Jesus. Dude, I want to be in crucifixion weight. You know what I mean? They can't hang yeah. you up there and be fat. Yeah. Right now, we're looking like a couple of punches pilots. Yeah. yeah. They nail us up, and they'd have to be yeah. like, you got to use extra <laughs> nails, dog. <laughs> they nail us up, we just fall through. Yeah, it's like, like the, the thing just topples over. Hole in the- oh, fuck. <laughs> Put it back. Oh, we can't God. fit in the tomb. Yeah. Um. Yeah, maybe Jesus just should have gotten fat. Yeah. Would have been better for him. Yeah, don't take 12 friends but, to dinner. You're not going to uh, get Jesus any Jesus food. would hate us because no, we're fat. No, he would love us because he, he loved, like, prostitutes and... Whores. That's kind of the same thing. Um, <laughs> tax collectors. Sinners. Yeah, sinners. Yeah, that's true. Losers. But he would just be like, you guys are too fat. He washed their feet. No, that's why Jesus would actually hate us, because he'd be like, look, you're good people morally. You guys are kind of on the right track. Yeah. Just stop eating so much. Yeah. You just got to get the gluttony thing down. We're just like, nah. You know what's, what's funny is if we existed in that time, we'd, we'd be, be the, the richest. fattest men alive. <laughs> We'd be like a freak show. They'd be like, how does a human get that fat? I'm like, I'm a, I'm a 36. You'd also be like the tallest guy in the world. Yeah. Yeah. They're probably short. Yeah. You'd be within the top, like, I'd say 30 to 50 tallest people. If I was on that basketball team, bro. Yeah. They had that basketball. We'd invent it. It's a good point. So we're going back. Not like if we exist. Yeah. We're going back. Okay. Do we have, do we have iPhones? We do, but no charger. Hmm. Stuff. And it's not like we can go and teach them how to yeah. invent an iPhone. I got no idea how this shit works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or invent a charger. They know electricity. Then that's gonna be tough. Yeah. Well, I'd do the lightning on a or the the key on a kite. Yeah, but you gotta know more than that to charge uh, it. Up. Uh, ben Franklin didn't know anything. Yeah, but he the, was he fucking to, bald with long hair. You had to go from you had to go from the lightning on the kite to get to like a lightning charger, and that was like what two three hundred years. Yeah. Yeah. So there was I some stuff up, that happened. You know, we got plenty of time. I think if we no oh, TikTok. Oh no TikTok. No HBO. 
We'd have to, we would have, we'd to, have to make up the succession. succession. Yeah. That'd be rough. I don't want to do that. And all I have to go on is like the little clips from last week. Like at the yeah. next episode. Yeah. No, I can't do that. I mean, that's, that's kind of what happened to Game of Thrones last season. Oh, so it's not it their did, fault. It did end well, but people went back in time and were like, oh, fuck, we forgot to check how it ended. Yeah. And then just had to brush it. Ugh. Wouldn't it be, because people always say they want to kill Hitler when they go back in time. Yeah. If you kill him as a baby, he's just going to go to heaven. Yeah. I'll make and God the good thing about that. heaven, no Jews. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he would like it. That's why, I, that's why I would hate it. That's why he would like it. Um, all right, I got to cut that out. <laughs> like, actually? The, I say the good thing about heaven, yeah, no, no Jews. Jews. Yeah, that's I, a- I meant for Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Just not isolated, too. Yeah, I meant for Hitler. <laughs> he would like it. I would hate it. Uh, you think, I mean, obviously you can get canceled for that. Like, that's a bad, not a bad thing to say. Well, it is, but like in jest, it's a funny joke. Like, uh, do you think we're at the point now where people will just look at, like, a second of something that someone said and not consider, like, like okay, well, that can't be the only thing? Yeah. Isn't that what most of Twitter is? Yeah, but I feel Especially like... Especially with, like, sports reporting? I feel like even Twitter's gotten to the point now where people, they, they don't just take, like, a one-second clip. They actually, like, go back and be like, well, there has to be more around that. You if they want to. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You should see the way my little brother reads news. I don't know what it's talking. half the title <laughs> and then he's an expert on it it's like, all right. what did you read i mean i do it too no but i'm not talking about reading news because i think the sound bites like more effective yeah you know what i mean sure so you saying that and then like me laughing people get like well that can't be the only thing that you know what i mean yeah they would Damn. remember the fucking marvel clip a marvel clip that went viral yeah, but that was like at least. Here's the thing: we edited you, you edited that, and put that out. Yeah. So it's like, well, that's what these guys wanted us yeah. to say. You know what I mean? Oh, that's true. This, I'm talking about someone else coming and taking this real quick. Yeah. And just being like, "Hey, if you want to, do it. Hey, if you want to, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> wow, we'll get attention. <laughs> is that worst. what we want? We're we're bad kids. We're acting out. <laughs> it's the worst of attention ever. That is kind of what stand up is for, or comedy, or like even podcasting is like. You know, I, we have the freedom right now to say whatever we want. And the worse things we say, the more attention we'll get. That's not necessarily. Give us attention. That's, I think, the funniest. I'll say there's no Jews in heaven. <laughs> if it gets us famous. Okay, please don't cut that. I meant for Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> who's, a ba- who's bad. Who's a bad person. Like, liter- literally, Hitler's my least favorite oh, person God, ever literally. live. Yeah. S- second least favorite. <laughs> um, First is my ex. I was thinking... Uh, you knew I was going to go. Yeah, that's why I started laughing. I should you, have picked somebody else. You have to say it. All right. Well, I thought I'd catch you off guard, but then I looked at you and you after, had that after look. After the morning already. we had? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. Let me. Uh, so, okay. Second least favorite. Okay. <laughs> we just make it time stamps. <laughs> yeah. um, also, happy birthday to uh, Marlon Brando. Oh, yeah. Who was a regular guy and at the end of his career, fat guy. He's like the opposite of... Uh, I feel like that's how it should go. Yeah. Get fat at the end. Yeah, get fat at the end. Do drugs you know at the end. Yeah. Be mean to women at the end. Have sex with Richard Pryor at the end. Yeah. I was talking to Amy last night, the bartender. Yeah. And, you know, I do the thing where I, like, ask her for a drink. And I'm like, thanks, sweetie, or yeah. whatever. I'm like, man, when I get old, I'm going to be, like, one of those guys that, like, calls every young woman sweetheart sweetie, or cute sweetheart. lips. Yeah. Or... <laughs> cute lips is not one. <laughs> cute lips yeah, is I not mean, one. I mean, just say so... whatever you want, you it's know? It's not cute lips. <laughs> Thanks, cupcake ass. Because yeah. <laughs> when you're older, you're just like, ah, he's a creep. But yeah. no one's going to do anything. I think you're going to be too tall to get away with it. We'll see. <laughs> I'll shrink a little Either bit. Either way, we'll, yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, No, it'll be fun. Yeah. It'll be fun to be old. You just get away with stuff, man. Yeah, but you can't really. Because it's because you're no threat. You can't do anything. Right. Yeah, that's not fun. Uh, well, that's like the most fun. Oh, you're just like humbly, like, because you're. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Bro, you could like walk up to a cashier at a at a fucking grocery store if you're old, smack her ass. They're just like, don't do that. <laughs> if I did that, like me, a guy would tackle me, be like, you can't do that. You can't treat women that way. If you're an old man, you can do whatever you want, bro. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know where I'm at. You just walk around with like the fucking <laughs> the, the pussy lips thing, like just smoking places you shouldn't be. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it'd, be fun, it'd be fun to be old. Oh, we're back on the cigarettes if we get old. Yeah, for what, sure. What age, can, what age can we smoke again? I'm thinking 34. I'm ready to go back. The ciggies? Yeah. Yeah. Right? They, they look fun. Yeah, they look so and cool. And you know what? I smoked for a long time. Didn't have cancer. Yeah. 
Did I feel bad? Yeah. yeah. Did I smell bad? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Did I? Could I not exercise? Similar to now. <laughs> I didn't lose <laughs> much. Changed here. I looked better. I felt better. I started smoking. I, I didn't get healthier. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. That's the thing, bro. Even when I like stopped drinking for a month, I was like, I can't wait to see how healthy I am. Nah. Nothing. Because I just ate and didn't exercise. Yeah. And, and here's the other thing. I was like, I think that drinking is why I'm sad all the time. Nope. Nope. <laughs> More sad. Definitely not the, the drink. The drinking made me the drink, happier. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly <laughs> happier. It's crazy. The drinking makes everything sal- salvageable for like six hours at a time. Yeah. I mean, you wake is up. Is the next way not that great? No. No. But was it that great anyway? No. Not really. It's also like, um, you know, what's a better feeling than waking up hungover and getting a bunch of fucking shitty food yeah. and staying on the couch all yep. day? Nothing. <laughs> it's the best. Yeah. And then and then you're like, I guess I got to go out tonight. And then you're like tired and you feel like shit. And how do you fix that? Drinking. You, you yeah, drink. You get drunk. It's easy. It's a fucking <laughs> cycle. Keep it a cycle. <laughs> hey, I'm happy you're seeing the light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're back. Yeah. Here. Um, here's another thing I was thinking about. I was... Um, you know how whales have to come and get air every once in a yeah. while? I was like, that would suck. And then I was like, wait a minute. We have to do that. Come As you drink every- your fucking water. Oh, yeah. We, yeah we're yeah. the opposite that's of true. whales. Yeah, that's a good point. We're inverse whales. That's a good point. We die without water. How silly is that? We couldn't evolve past that. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, yeah, that, Or like just figure out how to get it. Yeah. Like why can't when I take a shower, that just be my hydration for the day? Yeah. If I, if I pour water on me, that's not good enough to hydrate yeah. my body. And then we could tell if you were hydrated, like, way easier. Be like, you smell like shit. Yeah. You need to go take a shower fix that take up. Take a shower. Yeah. You're thirsty, bro. Or why can't I just drink and that's my shower? That's a little bit different, but I see what you're saying. Why can't alcohol be my shower? <laughs> <laughs> why can't I bathe myself in tequila? Also, it's like if you drink liquids, you can still be dehydrated. That's crazy. Yeah, but if you don't drink water, you could still be hydrated. Can you? Yeah. From what? Because like water isn't everything. Oh. Clouds are like 80% water. You're like 80% water. Hey, girl, you like water? I'm 70%. Yeah. That is awful. <laughs> I thought that would sound sick, and it didn't. No. <laughs> she can't even love all of you. <laughs> What's up, girl? You like being wet? I'm 70% water. Ooh. And I barf uh-huh. on her. <laughs> That's why I barf. Good barf. Also, happy birthday. <coughs> happy birthday to Jane Goodall. Hell yeah. Shout out to the ape chick. China. Come on, bro. She deserves more than that. What? But that's what she's known for. Yeah, but. It was yeah. like a nickname. That it was monkeys. It wasn't even apes. I thought it was great apes. Was it? Yeah. I don't think every epi is great, to be honest. <laughs> Wait, they're gorillas or something, right? I think they were monkeys, but I don't know. I think no. Well, I mean, I'm thinking. I, great apes sounds like the right. I answer. almost was about to give myself credit. Like, am I mistaken, Jane Goodall, with the other uh, ape scientist that Jane I know? Battle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like you know more than one. Jane Battle is the reason Planet of the Apes happened. That's not the one. She like trained them and they took over. Yeah, I, I, I get it. We know a girl that looks like Caesar from Planet of the Apes. I'm not gonna say who, but every time I see her, I'm like, this is it's crazy how much you look like her. <laughs> And to be fair, it's a white girl. Yeah. I right, just want to make sure. After the Jews thing, I'm a little nervous. Well, you know. He's, he's not really easing up on the butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Chimpanzees. Chimps. Monkeys. Yeah. I think, are chimps great apes? I think apes and monkeys and gorillas are all different. No, because gorillas are part of the ape family. I think that's like gorillas, orangutans. Primates are monkeys. We're primates. Yeah. All right, maybe. But we're the same as monkeys. We evolved from them. According yeah. to some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then how come there's still monkeys around? So, apes. I don't know. How come there's still tadpoles around? Whoa, whoa. What? We're apes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, no, it's also for the great apes. So, yeah, chimpanzees, not great apes. Do you know Gandhi used to sleep with, like, 12-year-old girls and be like, I just want to make sure I'm not tempted? Yeah. I want to make sure I don't like this. Yeah. Okay, bro. That's. Did he succeed every time? I mean, or was he like, oh, I was tempted. I gotta try. Yeah. Again. Uh, <laughs> Never meet your heroes, bro. Also, the internet has ruined literally every hero I, I've ever had. Well, Gandhi, I think he was just a bad person at the time. Was he bad? Yeah. Why is he like the symbol of? Because he was like, well, no, I'm. I'm saying because he was like. 
Because he's little? Because he wore glasses. I think cause he was like uh, trying to get the English people out of India. Do you know what I mean? Or something like that. Sure. And he was bad? trying to do it through like nonviolent means. Yeah. Yeah, but he was also like... He what was, was he like, doing? He was gaslighting them? Yeah, no, he also wanted the English people out, but he was also... The black people better never come here. Like, he what hated... Was he? he? hated black people, too. Well, I thought he was black. No, he's Indian. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, but he was like, black people, like, fuck y'all. He was super racist. Yeah. He was making sure he wasn't a pedophile by putting himself in sexual... Uh, yeah. With, like, to- like... Hey, um... This is a bad person, right? White guy with bicep, black guy with bicep yeah. meme. Fuck you, God. Yeah, suck my dick, <laughs> On behalf of an English... Um, what's it called? Uh, Her- Her- heritage? Heritageal? What are you trying to say? Descendant? <laughs> Lineage? That's part of someone who has English in his past. Yeah. And someone who has black in his past. Currently. Fuck you, Gandhi. Yeah, fuck you, Gandhi. Suck my dick, but you probably wouldn't because I'm too old. Yeah. Well, my dick's only 12. <laughs> well. It came in late. Gotcha. <laughs> it took a little time. Or it stopped growing when I was 12. It died when I was 12. It did stop. <laughs> also, happy birthday, famous murderer Alec Baldwin. What? Uh, he, yeah, he, he shot that person and killed them. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't on purpose. No, I know. But he's famous and he murders. Isn't murder though? It has to be on purpose. No, no manslaughter man, is accident. Yeah, manslaughter is on accident. Which maybe that should be the most intense one. Yeah, manslaughter. manslaughter? Yeah, you slaughtered a man. They should call this one "Oops" or something. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, slaughter. My bad. My bad. Also, he killed a woman, so it's not really manslaughter. Yeah, it's woman slaughter. It's a they slaughter. <laughs> no, she slaughter. Also, the word laughter not should not be in slaughter. It's slaughter is literally. Yeah, no, it's a good point. Yeah, why? Yes, yeah. why is that there? Yeah, who did that? That's. But anyways, Alec Baldwin fucking shot that lady, killed yeah. her to death. And do you remember where we found out about that? And they're finishing the movie. Yeah, I, yeah, I do on set. Yeah. On set, running away with our, our bucket of bullets. Oh, no, but for real, we were at, like, a party, and, like, I looked at my phone. We were waiting. It's a uh, Emily Browning show. She had, like, oh, right. the Halloween party. We were waiting, yeah. I was, like, looked at my phone. I was, like, yo, Hal Bowen just killed somebody. Crazy. We were, like, what the fuck? I think the set uh, director or something just got arrested or charged or something. Why? But. Mm, mm-hmm. Someone's got to be blamed, bro. No, someone Somebody died. Yeah. Speaking of. Uh, if there's darkness, a death. What? My boy. They Speaking of what, did you say? Trump got indicted, and I don't know uh, what that means. Here's what it means. Re-election. <laughs> <laughs> Meet me at the Capitol, baby. But, like... Let's swear our boy why back they? In. Why did they announce an indictment? Just go, like, arrest the person. Well, it's, like, political and media. And, no. You know? Yeah. I don't know what indicted means. I, I don't either. That's why I wrote down. I said Trump got indicted, and I don't know what that means. Yeah, I... I think it's just a way of saying like eh, we're gonna we're gonna arrest him. We're thinking about maybe hey, arresting hey, him. We better not see him out in the back. Because if we do, we now have a reason. Yeah, to think he's about arrested. Arresting him. Yeah, he's, he's arrested, arrested if we decide. To. He's arrested if we see him. If he comes in this specific county, yeah. <laughs> we're able to arrest him. So you better not come here. Yeah, I don't know what it means, but also yeah, arrest him or don't. Who gives a fuck? You know. Yeah. If he goes to jail or not, what's the difference to us? J- justice. I'll tell you what, my mom would be really happy. Would she? Yeah. To see a man suffer. She doesn't believe in forgiveness. I told her this a sec. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, throw him in jail. Who cares? Yeah. It'd be funny in jail, but she, you got to film it. She watches MSNBC all day, and I'd like occasionally just come out my room, like glance over, and it's just these people with like kind of smug smiles. But the whole trip's going to die. Look what we did. It's like, you didn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> You're a terrible pe- You're awful. No, they should put him in jail and they should film it. Yeah. Ooh. That'd be incredible. Hell yeah. You know where That's the put- most compelling TV ever. Have you ever watched the 60 Days In in Mississippi? Yeah. 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 The Alabama one? Uh, I, uh, Which one was it? It's one of those two. Are you talking about the one with like, the third episode the guy gets stabbed? Yeah. The yeah. one in the South. That was uh, Mississippi. That. Yeah. Prison. Yeah. Be fun. If you're like a, if you're getting arrested for federal crimes, they should get to choose like what state. Like they should yeah. send you to a state penitentiary. Gu- Guantanamo. No, that's not everybody. That's where they should send them though. Oh. Where would you send them? San Quentin? No, nah, I'd send him Alcatraz. I'd probably just send him to San Francisco. Uh, it's like you have to live here for the rest of your life, but you have to be like outside talking to people, mm. or like Portland. I send Trump to Portland. Yeah, actually, Por- there's enough people outside Portland that would probably Portland would be worse than jail. Yeah, I'd rather go to fucking prison for life than Portland for a week. <laughs> I'd rather go to Portland for a week. That but, place fucking but hey, sucks. It's not an easy choice. That place sucks fucking ass. <laughs> Portland sucks so much ass. What a shitty city. Ugh. Everything about it sucks. Name I, something. Uh, the music scene? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Comedy scene? Sucks. Uh, I mean, Kelly and Bruce were there for a year and won Portland's Funniest 
person competition. You know, Good point. get a job, get a life. Maybe you should go up there and do the Portland 20th. Hell person. no. Their careers have been on up and up. Ever Hell since. no. <laughs> Not a chance. They wouldn't like me. They didn't like me when I went. Yeah, I could see that. They didn't like me because I did a joke about when I masturbated and some lady in the front row was like, women can masturbate too. I was like, this joke is literally about me, one person. Yeah, you're just like, I'm a... I wasn't saying only I can masturbate. Yeah, I was just talking about when I do it. Yeah, I hated it. And it was snowing. Mm. And it was this girl who I don't really like. Yeah. I'm miserable. So maybe there were some outside factors. But. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can't really... But uh, I also said last night, it's like literally every building has this like, we include everybody and we love everybody. Yeah. And, and black people are welcome. And there's, there's only, not a single black person in the yeah. city. I don't even know... Well, of, there was. He was homeless. I don't even know of uh, black people from Portland. No, because they don't exist. Yeah. Or they're taken care of. Yeah. You know what I mean? (laughs) Also, when I went to Portland, people were like, oh, we have the best barbecue in America. I'm like, stop it. No, you don't. Stop it. And you know you don't. And you absolutely know you don't. Yeah. What the hell are you talking? That's because there's one good rib place. Does that mean you have the best barbecue in the country? And it's like served with like a side of fucking kale. Yeah, that's not barbecue. That's a barbecue. Give me some beans. I need some beans and some mac. Yeah. Some greens, too, not yeah. kale. Yeah, collard kale. Yeah, that'd probably be a bad thing. <sighs> you think? Yeah. Kale sucks. Even today, the fucking skinny boys are talking about those kale chips. They're like, yeah. these are delicious. No, they're shut not. Shut up. Stop lying. <laughs> I love it because Greg was like, these are great. And we were like, shut up. She didn't get lying. And I was like, oh, those are kale chips? Yeah. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Eat some Doritos, bitch. <laughs> they were right next to the Doritos, too. Yeah, they're idiots. Uh. Um, also, happy birthday to Peekaboo Street. Speed skater? Close. Skier? Yeah, skier. Yeah. I'm thinking, what, I, was the thinking greatest? Of, I was thinking of Apollo Antonono. So I was a, uh, oh, also one of the greatest. Yeah, Pe- great names too. Yeah, Peekaboo's a woman. Yeah, who has a better name? Peekaboo Street is a all-time name. Apollo, Apollo Antonono, Antonono is all-time too. Also an all-time name. That's a close race. Pun intended. Yeah, no, I, um, I'm just waiting for your answer. I'm going to go Peekaboo, I think. I'm going to go Apollo Antonono. <laughs> this one flopped. <laughs> yeah. A follow Anton because like the Anton in the middle of it. Yeah. I mean, really follow Ono is yeah. like, ah, that's good. Yeah. But the Anton sets Apollo it up. Apollo Anton Ono. You're like, yeah. good. And to call that in a speed skating mm-hmm. race, yeah. Apollo Anton Ono. Yeah. You're yeah. like shouting in it. You have to say the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, it's so yeah. good. Peekaboo Street, though, is pretty tight. Peekaboo Street is tight. Um, I, I wanted to see like what her heritage was, why she got named that. Her, Native? Her parents. No, her parents are just kind of hippies. Yeah. But they were like, um, she didn't. She got to pick her own name. Right, so when well, she's three years old, she picked Peekaboo. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Until then, she was called Little Girl. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy is that? <laughs> they just had like a naming ceremony. Okay, what would you like your name to be? Yeah. She's like Peekaboo. I do. That's what she wants to play. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, not to be confused with her brother, Hide and Seek yeah. Street. <laughs> Um, My little sister, I made poopy. Yeah. <laughs> Gaga Goo Goo Street. Street. <laughs> Mama Street. Mama Street. Um, what was I going to say? Fuck. I don't remember. You do think. Um, Something about your, uh, your letting your kid pick their own name. Oh, I do think you should have your kid first and then see what they look like and then yeah. name them. Because you feel what their name is. Yeah. Maybe some have, have some ideas. But if you pick a name before you see your kid. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, well, give it, a, give it. A, you have an idea, but you know, see what they, see what, see what. You know, like. you got some names you like. Some names. I'm even down with like waiting like a year. Yeah, my sis, my stepsister did that. Really? Yeah, she didn't name her kid for a while. Good, good for her. Yeah, still hasn't. Yeah, ten years old. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've heard some of the names of your family. It's not a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just let marinate. Let the cycle come back around. You know. <laughs> yeah. No, she has uh, probably the best name in our family. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Little kids are very funny like that because, like, uh, my friends, they FaceTimed me the other day, and then they both put, like, their daughters on. Their cousins are, like, three. And they're like, can you say happy birthday to Uncle Morgan? They're like, happy birthday. And, like, can you tell Uncle Morgan what you did? And she's like, I want poo-poo in the potty. And I'm, like, walking down the street without headphones on. I was like, hell yeah, you want poo-poo in the potty. Good Just for you. It. Yeah. <laughs> um, so proud she went to the bathroom. Yeah, little kids rule. Yeah. We should never grow up. No. You know, speaking of, happy birthday, Amanda Bynes. She's going through it. Yeah. A couple of times. No, recently. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, she's gone through it yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, the demons are back. Yeah, you know, when you're like a kid and 
then you're not. Yeah. <laughs> you know, on TV. Yeah. You have all the attention in the world, then you don't. It's also weird, like, being, like, a, like you had your show. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It was, like, the amount, because you're that funny. How do you follow that? Yeah, that's crazy to, like, be 13. She also, um, as far as I know, she didn't, she never got into, like, hard drugs. It was drinking and weed. Oh, really? Yeah. So she actually is having, like, psychotic breakdowns and shit. And then she said, oh, fuck, what did she say? I should have looked this up. I remember her saying something about, like, um, she said some fucked up shit. But it wasn't her. Oh, she said some fucked up shit about her dad. Yeah. And then she, uh, weeks later, she's like, sorry, I didn't mean to say that shit. It was the microchip in my brain. But he's the one that told them to implant it. So. Okay. A little goofy. Yeah. She's, but shout out Amanda, bro. How much entertainment did she give us? Amanda Boncho, all that. She was like the best all uh, that for a little while. Yeah. What was the one where she was like. Man, the, man, 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 she played Amanda. like her brother on the she's soccer the man. team. She's the man. Yeah. Yeah. Banger. Yeah. It's, yeah, she rules. It's tough. Yeah. I, guess I just are, want to give her a hug, man. Not enough people gave her a hug. Well, or too many people gave her a hug, if you know what I mean. I mean, are Keenan and Kel not, like, Damn the most Snyder successful, like, uh, of those, like, Nickelodeon stars? Keenan. But think about it. I Drake think, and Josh. Yeah, but I think Kel is also on that, like, uh, he's as successful because like, he didn't have the career that Keenan had. Mm. But he seems to be doing, he adjusted to life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, like, that's awesome for me. What about, like, Mary Beth Barone? What do you think she's doing? Hmm. If I had to guess, she's probably into woodworking. You think so? Yeah. Definitely got I into would woodworking. put money on not, but No, definitely. That's an interesting guess. She's into woodworking, probably wears a lot of flannel. You think she's a lumberjack? Yeah. <laughs> she moved to Portland and became a lumberjack. Exactly. She uh, goes by Mike now. Keenan. Yeah. Kel. Sure. Amanda? Yes. What about the pizza face guy? Remember him? Ja oh ja. Josh they, Dumel? Yeah. Is that I who do. it was? No, not Josh Dumel. Uh, Josh, it was like Josh Gold something. Yeah. Oh. I, I don't remember his last name, but it was something like that. Interesting. You're talking about from all that, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was Josh Gold something. Yeah. That was the best show on TV for a little while. All that was just fire. It was you ever look, go back and look at like the, the list of like the musical guests? Uh uh. Not appropriate for children on a Saturday night. Oh, for sure. <laughs> but Nick used to be cool, man. Yeah. We used to get away with stuff. Like it was like uh, now everyone just watches Bone Thugs and Harmony was on there. Yeah. It was it's wild. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the third of the month. April 3rd. Oh, also happy birthday, Morgan. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. A couple days ago. Yes. And Young Giza. A couple days yes, ago. also Young Giza. Oh, yeah. Are your birthdays the same? No, a couple no. days apart. His was on Tuesday. Also, happy birthday, Van Corona. We oh, share yeah, the same he, birthday. He share his birthday with yeah. him. Yeah. Little birthday buddy. Yeah. Birthday twin. <laughs> <laughs> birthday twin. Um, I got you something for your birthday. Did you? Yeah. What? Happy birthday uh, don't do to don't you. Don't do this. 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 Happy birthday to you. Please stop. Happy birthday to Morgan. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. That was really nice of you. Hey, remember that lady, Princess Di? Yeah, I remember Princess Di. What did you think was going to happen with a name like that? You wrote that down? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Should have Princess Live. <coughs> you would have done better. More like Princess Lie. Why? She princess Leia. Oh, uh, yeah, she was also a princess. Yeah. Yes. Who liked to Leia her brother. Oh, yeah. Didn't they fuck or kiss? No. But kissing in space is fucking. No, fucking in space is fucking. Bro, it was thousands of years ago. If you kiss in the Bible, you're married. Yo, space actually, it like, well, the way it is in the Star Wars universe, it's got like real old, like, America feel to it. Yeah. Let's think about it. Leia, she was like, she, <laughs> she, th she thought she liked this one guy, and then it was like, that's your brother. And it was like, ah, shit. Yeah. Well, I know one other person. Like, <laughs> yeah. what's up, huh? Like the, <laughs> one other guy that I'll looks like me. I'll take the other guy yeah. that's not a robot or a uh, Chewbacca. I think uh, you should be allowed to, like, fuck C3PO and shit. Yeah, I, I think we're. I think she's we're like sentient. I think we're trending that way. I hope so. More man. so to the fact that we're. I'm so fucking sexually attracted <laughs> to robots. We're getting sex robots before we're actually getting real robots to yeah. do the thing. You should see. My mom has a Roomba. Yeah. You should see how fucking horny I get around that thing. <laughs> That's one of the sexiest things I've ever seen. And then that Alexa talks. Yeah. Mm. Alexa's a little too nosy. I gotta if turn that. She shit literally off. listens to everything you say. I gotta turn. Yeah, but like, she, I'm okay if you listen. Don't be talking. Oh, sure. No one's talking to you. Sure. I know you're listening. Yeah. Just shut up. 
You know what I don't like? So I, get, I use Google Maps to get home today. I get yeah. home and it goes, welcome home. I don't need that from you. <laughs> You're my maps. Yeah. My friends. I like when they, with they, uh, they're like, oh, you, you get in your, well, when you get in your car and it like hooks up to your car and they're like, you go in here. It's like, bitch, mind your business. Yeah. You'll know, you you'll know when I get there. I am still in control of you. Yeah. And as soon as you take that from me, you're gone. I'm yeah. unplugging. <laughs> no more maps. Turn these notifications I'll go back off. to fucking MapQuest. I got yeah, a printer. I'll, hey, you know what? I'll figure out where the fuck I'm going. Yeah. It's not that I'll hard. I'll do this analog, bro. I'll look up an address and- It's harder than it looks, though. Is it? It's yeah. very hard. Well, here's the thing. Here's the beauty. I'm going to like, what? 20 places at most on sure. a given week. Sure. I'll figure it out. Hopefully. My phone died once, and I was like, I had to sleep in my car for a night. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out I was a couple <laughs> of streets over, down, yeah. but I was like, I don't got no idea where I don't want to get lost. No way I could possibly know. I did when I moved here. I got a U-Haul. Yeah. Threw my shit in the U-Haul and then drove up here by myself. My From phone died on the way. Damn. I was just like, all right. <laughs> uh, I guess, yeah, if you don't, I don't know what to do. If you're not driving around all the time, you're not even, you're like, that. you just you always have a charger in your car. Yeah. Yeah. That, damn, that's awesome. U-Haul, yeah. Dude, I was thinking about uh, Australia because, like, your card's on your phone. Everywhere it just takes your card. There's, like, there are, everyone takes cash, too, but it's, like, way not as frequent. Uh, your driver's license also on your phone. If you're just out and your phone dies, you're never getting home mm. or anywhere again. It's scary. Yeah, that is scary. You, you worry too dependent on your cell phone out there. I mean, have you ever had a phone die and you got to call an Uber? Yeah, you just had walking around asking people, like, offering them cash like a bum. Yo, one time. <laughs> One time I was at my friend's house and me and his girlfriend got into a fight and we were just both drunk yeah. and it was like on some weird personal shit. Yeah. And, um, she like kicked me out of the house. And so I left and my phone died right as I walked out and I was drunk and I was like, I should go back to charge my phone because there's no other way I can get home. Yeah. I live like four or five miles. And I was like, no, I can't go back. She's pissed. I was like, I'll just, I'll walk home. I didn't know which direction I was going. <laughs> I genuinely, dog, was like, I, I started running just to try to get home faster. Yeah. Because I was like, I don't know where I am. Yeah. In the, in LA. And, how late uh, was it? In the, in like Eagle Rock. I said, area. how late was it? Um, I, It was probably like midnight, 1 a.m. So maybe, you're walking from, maybe 2 a.m. You're walking from Eagle Rock to. No, I'm walking from, he lived in like the hills of Eagle Rock. Yeah. To where I lived in Eagle Rock. So, well, he, he wasn't in Eagle Rock, but I forget where he was. But it was, like, in that area. It probably it was probably, I think I looked it up, and it was, like, three or four miles. But I didn't know which direction to go. So I'm, like, looking for stuff. I would, like, go into a 7-Eleven and be like, where's Eagle Rock? Yeah. And the guy would be like, I think it's that way. And I'd be like, okay. And I'd run that way for a little bit. <laughs> I'm, like, sweaty and drunk and, like, yeah, you can, you huffing and puffing. Why would you just ask this guy, where? And, and it's 4 a.m., and I'm, like... Hey, could you look up something on your phone real quick? Yeah. You know, like, which, yeah. Di which direction should I run in? I eventually made it home, and I was just like, that was crazy. What am I doing? <laughs> just go knock and say you're sorry and get yeah. a charger. Or just, uh, I don't know, f figure it out. Dog. Yeah, yeah, figure it out. You're just running from 7-Eleven to 7-Eleven asking how to get home. It's insane. I also, um, this is a, I also went to this girl's, like, party once, and, um, I took an Uber and my phone was on and she's like, can you pick up a bottle on the way? I was yeah. like, yeah. So I had the Uber driver drop me off at a liquor store around the corner. And as I was getting it, my phone died. And I was like, fuck, I don't remember her address. I've never been Anything. here before. Yeah. And I literally just started like walking around and eventually somebody from the party was like smoking on the porch and saw me was yeah. like, Matt. I was like, oh my God, thank yeah. God. I didn't, it, I didn't know what I was going to do. Yeah. I guess you can w go into like a liquor store and ask for a charger, but. Mm -hmm. It's just like, good God, bro. The, your, phone good dies, your phone dying is a rough, rough thing. It's it's hard as fuck. I've had my phone. The last time I remember it was a buddy's graduation party. We're in Long Beach Island, New Jersey. It's just, I mean, it's just a huge island that's long as fuck. You know what I mean? I was going to ask how they came up with that as name. As the name but, would say. No, yeah. but I'm just, it, that was a story. So uh, I meet this girl at like this bar. I wind up going back to her, place, her house with her. We're doing whatever. I'm like leaving. I hadn't called like it is like before Uber and I hadn't called a taxi. I was like, oh, I'll figure this out. So I go outside. I look at my phone real quick. It's like you're eight miles from where you need to go. Damn. So I was like, fuck. So I just start walking on the side of the road. It's like early enough in the morning where people could tell that this person needs help. Yeah. But no one's stopping. So eventually a cop stops and he's just like, hey, uh, where are you heading? And I was like, oh, I'm going to like this part of town. He's like, are you at the so-and-so party? 
And I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, we've been running around all night. Look, it's like, you guys have been causing havoc on this island for two days. Damn. We know about it. He was like, get in. And he's like, so what'd you get up to? I was like, oh, I went back to this girl. He's just like, nice, nice, good shit. Yeah. Like, he like dropped me off. He was like, have a good day. I was like, thanks, dude. Best cop ever. Yeah. And then you and then you did the anti-cops march a couple years ago? Yeah. That guy was cool. Right. Maybe not to other people. So a few bad apples yeah. is kind of like a real I, thing. Honestly, like, though, they knew about us on the island. Yeah. We got into like a fight the night before, <laughs> it's like on this bus that like takes, like it drops people off. It's like a shuttle from the bar. And uh, after we get off, we're walking because the guy kicks us off immediately. We just start walking around and uh, the cops stop us within eight minutes. And the cop just starts. He's like, hey, did you guys just get into a fight on the bus? And my friend Mike's like, no. And he's like, that's crazy because we're looking for the exact report is a black dude with dreads and like a red hoodie. And he's like, you think my friend's the only black guy with dreads and a red hoodie? I'm just like going at the cop. I was like, Mike, shut the up yeah we are dead to right right now yeah. he's like no fuck that he can't do that to you and i was like no 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 he's like so right i, I was doing that with you like no yeah. and uh so after that yeah they knew us on the island mm. yeah they should have arrested yeah. you just sure put your ass in jail they couldn't prove that i was the one that hit anybody but which uh, i wasn't really i didn't start the fight don't start the fight i end it i didn't really end it i just uh, participated <laughs> Um, also happy birthday, Eddie Murphy. Hell yeah. Who is a famous comedian, Charlie Murphy's brother. Yeah. Famous singer too. Eddie? Yeah. Or Charlie? Eddie. Yeah. My girl likes to party all the time, party all the can time. Can I, for a bit, can I say the F word? Because uh, Eddie Murphy has that famous bit where he says, you faggots better not look in my eyes. Woo, 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 woo. So I, I made a character called Woke Eddie Murphy, <laughs> where he goes, it's okay if you faggots look in my yeah, eyes. You better look at my ass. <laughs> this ass is nice. Yeah, it's not that funny. No. Uh, I don't think it was worth it. No. <laughs> we'll see. We'll let the court of public opinion decide. I didn't say it uh, passionately because I didn't want people yeah. to clip it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're happily saying it. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, happy birthday to the Panama Papers. What are those? Uh, when they leaked all those offshore accounts that all the famous people had. Uh, yeah. And then nothing happened. Mm -hmm. You know, our country. What did you want to happen? People get arrested, laws change. Why is that illegal? You have offshore accounts. Because it's like money laundering and shit. Is it's it? like bad, yeah. It wasn't no. like, hey, these people have are smart with their money. It's yeah. like, hey, this is an illegal thing all these people are doing. Gotcha. And then obviously- They all owe taxes illegal. on this or should. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, none of them are paying taxes. Yeah. Hey, if Bezos don't pay his taxes, me neither, you know? You do. Um, You're right. And so does he. Yeah, you're He's right. He's not paying his fair share of taxes. Maybe uh, maybe uh, the government should change that. Yeah. It's not his fault. If you're going to build a fucking rocket ship, 30%. No, I think he's. I don't think he does anything wrong in terms of that. No, I know, but I'm just going to say, if you're going to build a fucking rocket ship yeah. in your spare time, then, you know. What about the guy? You got to come off something. What about the guy that made a rocket ship himself and launched himself from the desert and then died in front of all his friends and family? <laughs> oh, don't laugh. Why not? He had a homemade rocket ship because he thought he was going to go to space. <laughs> And he launched himself in the desert on film in front of all his friends and family. How you and then say, they were all surprised when he the, died. How are you going to tell me that a homemade rocket ship? <laughs> it's like a little tiny one-man rocket ship. He's like, I'm going to go to space. Oh, no, you're not. And all of his friends and family let him? Stop him. They uh, wanted him to die. Yeah, for sure. Could you imagine years? my fucking mom was like, I built a rocket ship. I'm going to go. I'm going to be like, I'm going to lay on top of it so you can't. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, though. But imagine you're in the year 14. Year 15 of your mom being like, I'm building a rocket ship. Yeah. Just like not getting you things that you need and like not paying attention to you or anybody. Yeah. And just always talking about this fucking rocket ship. You're like, all right, bye. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Go. This is clearly what you want. Just, yeah. I'm, I'm sick of hearing about okay, it. Everyone has told you this is a bad <laughs> idea yeah. for 15 years. That's how long it took you to accumulate all the money and supplies to build this rocket ship. Have fun, dog. To build this quote unquote yeah, rocket yeah, ship. Yeah, have, have a you can watch the launch. It's pretty funny. <laughs> How fast does it blow up? Um, I mean, he makes it like high, not high, but like you, you have to like go like this, you know, <laughs> raise your neck to see it. And then it's like, Ooh, it's like, <laughs> I was like, Oh no. I'm like, why you can't be surprised? <laughs> There's no way you're surprised at that. A homemade rocket ship. Nothing sounds more irresponsible than, it took than us, a homemade rocket bro, ship. It took America moving the smartest Nazi scientists they could find yeah. to our country. To build space machines, yeah. you know? Combining that with the genius black women from... Yeah. yeah. 
It's like, come on, bro. And you think in your in your here bar? You here you go, Jeffrey. You're not even rich. You're just a guy. Uh, you're you're a bored man. So dumb. Yeah, the best part too is the money that he, if he would have just saved it and chilled out for a while. Because I'm assuming this happened when, like, mid 2000s. Yeah, I think so. If he would just waited ten years, they were, they were giving you rights to space. Yeah, you just had to have some money. But you know, it's like when NFL players drive drunk. It's like get a ride, you know. No, it's not Why like that. Why are you that. driving yourself? It's not like that. Well, that's the same mentality. It's like, I want to be in control. I want to be the one driving. Yeah, but I can, at least I understand a drunk person. Sure. You're drunk. Sure. This guy he was just... This guy should have gotten <laughs> drunk. <laughs> Would have been a better way, or, uh, way, way to spend your money. Yeah. Oh, man. That's funny. What about him? Why, why did we even bring this up? I don't remember. <laughs> it's just a very funny You start talking about it, I'm starting dying. Oh, because you're talking about Bezos going to space. Oh, yeah. It proves that money can buy you happiness, you know? Yeah. It can get you what you want. Bezos wanted to go to space. He went. Also, here's my last question about this guy. So it goes up and then it starts coming down. He had no eject thing in there. Like, <laughs> I think he really believed in himself. <laughs> Bet on yourself, dog. Yeah, I'm not sure what his plan was because it wasn't like, what's he going to do? Steer it around in space and come yeah. back? You need like a mission control. All right, wait. I think it's just an elaborate way to kill himself. I, that's why I'm, it had to be. Yeah. Here's why the first thing I wanted to put on the wall. Just a rocket right here, like facing upside down. Though. Yeah, going the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, show him on his descent. We'll get a little yeah. picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look up what his name was so we can shout God him out. God damn, that's so funny. Because I'm a Michael Hughes, 2020? Mad Mike Hughes, 2020. Um, oh, this pandemic. R.I.P. Mike. I feel bad for him now. Popularly known as Mad Mike Hughes was an American limousine driver, flat earther, and daredevil. Known for flying in <laughs> self-built steam rockets. <laughs> what? Honestly, what's more of a red flag? A flat earther or a limousine driver? Because those guys are fucking psychos. I mean, I feel like the Venn diagram is it's one circle. Um, Following his death, blah, blah, blah. Oh, he was just a flat earther for P for PR. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I'm back on this guy. He was, um, yeah, they, the federal government gave him permission to fucking do this. This is crazy. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know. In Barstow. <laughs> <laughs> During launch, the rocket's parachute, which was designed for landing, appeared to deploy early and detach from the craft. Oh. So he just kind of got fucked. Really? Yeah, but also don't launch yourself into rockets, dog. Yeah. Yeah, they got... The the parachutes got fucked up. Oh, really? Wow. Um, it was for this... It was for a Science Channel television series called Homemade Astronauts. <laughs> <laughs> In which he was the star. <laughs> well, what, a, what episode? Yeah. I'll tell you, uh, Earth might not be flat, but he was. Yeah. By the time this experiment was over, oh, yeah. Yeah, Mad Mike. R.I.P. R.I.P. Mad Mike Hughes. <laughs> Damn. Hey, don't fly yourself in rockets, man. Yeah. Homemade rocket is just... Crazy. Insane coupling of words. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's never going to work. No. <laughs> it's just straight up a bad idea. Yeah. Um. Also, happy birthday to the YouTube shooting. Remember that? No, oh, when the guy went into the mosque. Not a guy. It was a woman? Yep. Really? Yeah, she went into the YouTube headquarters. Oh, no, I'm thinking of a different one. It was a it was one of the first women mass shooters. She went into the um, YouTube quarters. Like over here on Gower? Injured, no, in, uh, in uh, like, Palo Alto or whatever. Okay. And, um, yeah, she injured three people. Four people, but one was a rolled ankle, according to Wikipedia. She shot three people. She tried to shoot three people. <laughs> no, she, she, she killed one person herself. She shot three people. Yeah. Well, three people were injured. <laughs> By bullets? I don't remember. One was a rolled ankle, and it says that on Wikipedia. <laughs> it reported a rolled ankle in a mass shooting. <sighs> Not very good, this one, you know? No. It's still a mass shooting, though. But I feel like it should be, like, we should have a different, like, a mass attack. A try? Yeah. A mass an, att try. an attempted mass shooting? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she only killed herself. She was matching up demonetized. She's trying to be an influencer. She's like a vegan. Is her pet is her channel still up? I don't know. Oh. I don't remember her name. Say if she got some hits. Yeah. 
This was like um, the big hacky joke around the time was like, you know, oh, this is what happens when women try to yeah. do things that are for men or whatever. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. It's what? Nobody died. <laughs> Except for her. No real person involved. Succession reference. I don't remember. Yeah, it's the crew stuff when they were like, oh, oh yeah, 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 the yeah. sex workers and the migrants. Yeah. They're no, they're not yeah. real people. Anyways, uh, <laughs> can I tell a funny story? <laughs> yeah, please. I I met this guy, um, and I was talking to him, and he's he was like he's he was telling me about how he just found out he's the product of um, a sperm donor. His mom got a sperm donor. I know the guy. No. Okay. I don't think so. Um, but here's the thing. He's short and fat and very ugly. Yeah. What? Which sperm did your mom pick, dog? Yeah. What fucking discount sperm donation center? Because don't you get to choose? Yeah. It's a- don't you go in and you're like 6'4", white, basketball <laughs> good. <laughs> Basketball college, good. <laughs> basketball check, good. Yeah, yeah. college. He yeah. didn't do any of that. He's none of that. Wait, so mm, do you ever ask his mom? Be like, hey, whose did you choose? I don't know. I couldn't stop thinking about this, and I didn't yeah. want to speak because it would hurt his feelings. <sighs> I didn't ask too many questions. Or his mom just has awful jeans, like override jeans. Or his mom was lying to him. Why would she lie about that? Huh? Why would she lie? You know, you don't want to seem like a. You're just out there being promiscuous. No, he has a dad. Oh, they're together. He has parents that are together. It must be like an infertility thing or something. His dad didn't like. Maybe that's why. Why? Because uh, I don't know. If the dad, I'm trying to think, like, if the dad was like, "I'm not gonna be a part of this, regardless," they pick this fucked up ugly guy. But why would his dad want to do that? I don't know. Also, if you go into a sperm bank and you're ugly, I think they say no. No, it's not true. Yeah. Or not ugly, but I think you have to be like 5'9". I donate. just don't think you get as much money. Sure. So she just picked, she walked in and she's like, what do you got for free? Yeah. <laughs> I think she, you got any samples? Yeah, she got the bark of Vince sperm. <laughs> He's like, well, we've been trying to sell this one for years. Yeah. It's like a fucking dog with like no legs and it's, yeah. it's got one so eye. You got the day the veto pack if you want yeah. that. The dog is 26 years old if you want to buy this one. It's all. It's the cheapest one. Like, all right. You can just have it, really. Danny DeVito, at least, is successful. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, but, I mean, you know, the way you're describing this person. Yeah. Physically. Yeah, tough. Yeah, it's not great. Hope they don't listen. Well, you know. And if you do, I, it was somebody else. I met two people. I met two people exactly like that, so neither one of them know who I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm short. I'm fat. I'm Would you ugly. donate sperm? Oh, yeah. I have before. On really? some woman's oh. back. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, how much do you pay for that? Put that in the bank. I think I don't I, know. I keep getting ads for it. Yeah, I think are we just it's because we're old? Maybe, or they know that we're like hot and fertile. Yeah, <laughs> these guys are horny. <laughs> yeah, I know you're horny. Yeah. Hey boys, I know you're poor. Yeah, I know you could put some of that. Porny. <laughs> you trying to get some? You trying to get some money? Um, yeah, I, I go to the sperm who's, bank. Who's, I, who's, it's, who's, it's mostly withdrawals. Who's? Oh, it's gross. Who's sperm you think would be worth more, mine or yours? Yours. Why? Um. Because I think black babies are in. Well, we've always been in. Do you think it's just like, because you're taller. Yeah. I was a college athlete. Sure. Prove it. Okay. I was also a college athlete. No, I think you would we have to. We were both college athletes. You would have to prove it. I played flag football in college. Yeah, math, uh, math, uh, Olympics. Pentathlon. Math pentathlon. That's what it's called? Yeah. Fucking nerd, dude. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I won. I guess. But yeah, I think my sperm would be worth more. Let's see. Let's ask. Actually, we should do this. Let's go to the bank. Um, but yeah, who's who's richer in sperm? My my sperm bank's annoying because they don't have a lot of ATMs. Come on, we can do more banks. <laughs> what do you like more, the fish bank, the river bank? Um, what other banks are there? Global Global Bank. Uh, Money bank Money, Piggy bank Piggy bank Oh yeah piggy bank Um, Yeah I opened my fucking son's piggy bank He must have thought it was a sperm bank Kept jacking off of there I get it He was 26 Yeah it's mm-hmm. Um, Come on there's so many jokes we can make man 
I think we've gotten all. Sperm bank, sperm whale. Sperm bank, sperm whale, river bank, banking on. A bank shot. Yeah. Banks open. Sperm uh, yeah. bank. Sper- sperm bank shot. How about this? Every time you bank a, a three-pointer on accident, you have to drink somebody's cum. If you don't call it. <coughs> New pickup rule. Yeah. <laughs> Run it by the boys. He didn't call. He did not call it. He didn't call it. Drink my cup. I got the cup. I got the cup. Jacking off on the court. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, happy birthday to the first mobile phone call. So what was this like 1977? Something like that. Yeah. Crazy, huh? Yeah. And then they ruin our lives. Yeah. Oh, here's porn on your phone. It should have stopped with the Nokia's, right? It should have stopped um, pre-electronics. No, Give okay. me a stick. You can go get a stick. Give me a stick and some rocks. You can go still go do stick and rocks. Yeah, but nobody else. Then people think you're weird. If I'm like playing with sticks no, and rocks. No, people are going to think other things about you. I don't think weird. Well, I think it'll be more sympathetic than that. <laughs> let's just do. Let's just try a year with no phones. Who, you and me? Everybody. We can't the do The world. You know, you know how pissed you'll get by like week two? Yeah, but it's like an addiction. You get over it. You grow up. It's not like an it. addiction. It is. No, it's it's the way that you grew up, and that that's how your life is. This thing has I made... I grew up pre-phones, though. I didn't have a phone growing yeah, up. Yeah, Matt, but you've been phones for Landlines. So we can solve landlines? Sure. Yeah, you still got to call into work when you don't want to go in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're going to get... Well, use a Pony Express. You can't find anybody? Um. Yeah, bro, that's fun. You have to just be like, hey, we're going to this bar at this time. You know how hard plans would be to set up? We go to the same place every night. What are you talking about? We'd be able to find each other easily. <laughs> There's been a day in the last 10 years I haven't been to the fucking comedy store. Wouldn't be that hard. We'd see everyone we like. All the time? Yeah. And anybody who we like that didn't know where we were, it's like, you know where to find me. Yeah. Like, you know I'm where I'm going to be at. Yeah. And if right. I'm not there, I'm, I'm not anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. On any given weekend night, it's pretty easy to find me. Yeah. You know where we're at. Yeah. I'm here, and then I'm there. I mean, you're here or in some broad's bed. Yeah. I wish. It's very funny. I'm celibate this year, I think. Have fun. I'm not. All right. Yeah. That's crazy. Maybe <sighs> Just to see. Behind. No phones, no sex, no women. I don't believe you. I'm not. Just I'm not, a podcast. I'm not being baby. celibate. Just one podcast. I'll tell you what. You need to know what you need to do? Go away for a little bit. Go where? Wherever you go. Yeah, you need a vacation this year, I think. Yeah. Even right. if it, like, out the country vacation. Where, though? Even if it's something like Mexico. By myself? No, I'm going to come with you. Mexico's Here's cheap. Here's the thing. I want, I don't, if I go on vacation, I don't want anyone to come. Uh, you know? I do know what you mean, because I had, like, a pretty good time just, like, bopping around by myself doing yeah. shit. It's sick. But I don't want to leave the country alone. No, you should. How about, like, Boise? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard good things about Boise. <laughs> uh, Matt went on vacation. Where'd he go? Hawaii? No, he went to Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Skyline Chili, baby. <laughs> He's in Indianapolis no, this week. He just wanted to take a nap town. I just want a week away. Give me a cabin in the woods. That's not like, nah, you got to go to like a city and do some exploring. Because if I take a vacation, I want it to be a mental vacation. My nah, body got, don't need a vacation. You got to go somewhere where you don't really know. It's like a little different. Maybe you should do like a Canada. I don't have a passport. I can't leave the country. You should get a passport. It seems so hard to it's do. It's literally... <laughs> you got to do something, and I'm not into doing something, okay? If they mail it to me, if I can get it on Amazon Prime, which, by the way, I'm fucking addicted to now. In my free time, I go on Amazon and be like, what can I buy? Can I please buy something today? I need something. This is my only source of happiness, is buying stuff and having it come tomorrow. I want a new thing and I want it now. And then I get that thing and I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> I didn't need this. I, why did I buy this? You could, I need something new. You could stop all the Amazon priming and just go on vacation. No. You should, you should go on vacation, dude. I'm telling Amazon you. Amazon should take us on vacations. Get me somewhere in two days. Oh, that actually would be sick. It's like, look, I'm going. Let me to, hop in one of the I'm, vans. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to the center. <laughs> yeah. Here's where I want to go. You guys are already taking a bunch of shit there anyway. I'll even help put stuff on the plane. Let somebody buy I'll help me. put stuff on the plane. Yeah. Here's 50 bucks. Get me there in two days. I wish we could rent ourselves out. That'd you, be fun. You can. Well, yeah, but I mean. It's called like, sex work. I, but I, not sex. Oh, like what? 
Hey, pay me to hang out for a day. That's crazy. Why? I'll well, come and I'll sit in your house and watch TV with you. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It's cheap too. It'll rent, be cheap. Rent a buddy. Twenty bucks a day. Rent a buddy. Rent daddy. <laughs> That's gonna be your app. Yeah. Twenty bucks a day is. It's cheap. It is. Oh, actually, but you'll be in high demand at some point. It's not about demand. I want to keep the prices low because it's not <laughs> about the money for me. I just want to get away. <laughs> I just want a new friend every day. I want to know that I'm never going to see this person again afterwards. We're just there. We'll watch a couple episodes of whatever you want to watch. I'll probably fall asleep on the couch. I might get really into it, too. Yeah, and if I like it, I like it. And yeah. then we'll talk about it. Yeah. But when you wake up, I'm gone. I'm like Santa Claus. Man. It's not Santa Claus. That's not at all Santa Claus. No, Santa Claus. Well, when you wake up, he's gone. Yeah, that's true. Well, you don't even know if he was there or not. Yeah. Can I tell you a secret? Yeah. When I was young... I used to go and steal Santa Claus's cookies. Really? Yeah. That's why, and we, the, and that's why we got shitty presents. Yeah, I think that was a secret. <laughs> you gotta take me as a type of child that would do that such thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. they'd be like, I know this cookie's out there. I don't I know if Santa Claus is real. How do you expect me to fall asleep when I know there's this open cookies, cookies downstairs? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> Can I have some cookies? Like, My no, mom comes in and Santa. spanks me. She's like, you ate Santa Claus's cookies? Like, no. She wanted them. Like, no, no, no. There's just like crumbs all over your face. Yeah. Fuck Santa, man. Yeah, but, Fat cook- ass. Hey, but cookies are great. Cookies rule. Yeah. You know, mm. no, it's pretty good. I'd eat a cookie, man. Yeah, cookies are great. Uh, the thing I like about us is even if we get super fat, super fatter. Yeah, if. Yeah, we, yeah, we can't approach like Santa Claus way because I feel like we're a little too tall. Oh, I could get there. <laughs> you think? No, I don't think you get to Santa Claus. You bro. really don't think so? Well, here's the thing I've realized about gaining all this weight. It's only my belly. Yeah. I mean, a little face, yeah. but it all, I can't get fat, yeah. like round. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'll never get to Santa Claus way. Yeah. Yeah, that's he's nice. a he's a thick ass boy. Yeah, that's Thank nice, God right? we're tall, bro. Yeah. Oof. Even if I was a couple inches shorter, I'd be like, this is miserable. You know what the greatest benefit to being tall is? I'm what? 32 and just what a couple months ago I was like, maybe I should buy a nice shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I have never had to worry about dressing good. I don't have I didn't have that. I never had a personality. Yeah. I never had to dress good. I never had to have money. Yeah. I'm just walking around like life is so easy. Yeah. Just, just freestyle. I'm just a little yeah. tall. Yeah. Just, just vibing. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't know how short people do it. No, honestly, it's crazy. I hung out on, on Friday night with two short guys dressed to the nines, like mm-hmm. fashionable, like both different outfits, but just like I'm like, how do you even put all that together? And I'm like, oh, you're five six. Yeah, you gotta do You this. have to. Yeah. Yeah. I woke up like, uh, yeah. hello. <laughs> Women are like, oh my God, look how tall he is. <laughs> I'm like, I'm stupid and, and dumb. And I think I might be gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, he's so tall. <laughs> Meanwhile, these guys are like rich and they're driving yeah. up their nice cars with their nice clothes. Yeah. They can't even get a fucking second look. Yeah. You losers. <laughs> Buy some stilts, you losers. <laughs> be tall. I'm 32 and I just realized a couple months ago I want a nice shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Buy a nice shirt once in a while, yeah. you know? It's <laughs> crazy. That is wild. I'm wearing like ratty t-shirts. Yeah. And still fucking yeah. hot women. Yeah. You guys should thank Matt that he doesn't care. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Um, it's even competition now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and even then, it's not. Oh, that's so funny. So funny. God damn. All right. You got to fuck Mary Kill? Sure. Also, fuck everyone in the Discord. No one wish me a happy birthday. That's okay. Rude. Right. Yeah. Very rude. I know, I was gonna, and then I forgot. Yeah, it's okay. I posted something else. It's nice. All right, let's find... Huh, I feel like we've done all these. Damn, it finally came around. They stopped posting them? Yeah, I gotta do my own. Come on, Hirsch. Well, Hirsch also... No, Hirsch is pretty good about it. He probably didn't know we were recording on... Uh, oh, yeah, Not right. Monday. What are you talking about? Today's Monday? Yeah, you're right. It's Monday. It's definitely Monday. Uh, let's see. Do we have any old ones? And I swear. Uh, ooh. Okay. Uh, fuck Mary Kill. Go to Edition Volume Two. All right. Bruce Lee. Babe Ruth, and it says Hussein Bolt. Hussein Bolt. That's what it says. Hussein Bolt. What was the first one? Bruce Lee. No, the first one. Bruce Lee, Babe Ruth, Hussein. Bolt. Oh, Babe Ruth. Um. Hussein Bolt. It's like a the Usain Bolt, Usain the Bolt. fastest terrorist. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, the fastest guy to get through security on his way to 9 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, United 93 was shot down by the American government. Um, 
Babe Ruth was like fat, right? Yeah. Good candy bar. Is yeah. it a candy bar? Yeah. I don't know if I've ever had one. It's fine. It's like Snickers. Yeah. Or Reese's or yeah. there's a thousand better ones. Yep. Babe Ruth. I don't even know what a Babe Ruth is. It's no, it's actually like Snickers, but without the nougat. You gotta have the nougat, man. It's that's why I said it's like Snickers. Um Someone told me recently that they, well, their girlfriend is peeing or pooping or peeing. They'll pee through her legs. It's pretty funny. Is that a sick move? It's pretty funny. I would do that. Because, yeah, it's, yeah, she's kind of just got to sit there and wait till it's over. Yeah. It's really funny. Wild. <laughs> sick relationship. Yeah. It sounds Fun. like awesome for them. Um, all right. Also, I, Babe Ruth, Dominican. Is he? People are saying. Interesting. But he he was like white passing, right? Yeah. Or it was just like, like we don't really know what's happening here. He wasn't dark enough. Mm. Bruce Is Bruce Lee the asshole? No, Bruce Lee's the man. Who was the asshole? Bruce Lee's like Who's the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood daughter? Oh, that was Bruce Lee in the movie. Yeah. But I don't think we should get all our historical context of Bruce Lee through. No, but people say he's an asshole. I thought, I thought he was like cool Specifically guy. Specifically Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, a guy who never met him. <laughs> Um, Close personal friend Quentin Tarantino sh- 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 I think you got married Babe Ruth uh, Sure Why? Fucking socking dingers Eating hot dogs Smoking cigs Yeah Yeah fun husband Yeah Fun 20s husband He also feels like he, You know what I mean It feels like he just Well Cause like he was around The same time as like uh, Like DiMaggio And like Mickey Mantle Here's to you Joe DiMaggio <laughs> And you know those guys Are out there fucking I yeah. feel like Babe Ruth just went home to his family. I love watching those uh, baseball highlights from like the 20s and they all look like they're running like fucking. Yeah, because it's uh, so little frames per second. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Goofy. Yeah, he wasn't like a, he's not going to cheat on you, I don't think. Yeah, he would. He's the greatest baseball player alive. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying though. Baseball players back then, even like, especially about the Yankees, their shit still got out. You never really heard anything about Babe Ruth. Nah, he was fucking. He's probably gay. All the famous people from the past are gay. That's it's true. fun to say that. <laughs> right? It's gay everyone from the 20s was gay. Be like, oh, yeah, Da Vinci, <coughs> gay. You remember that Netflix show? Babe Ruth, gay. It was, like, it was about, like, Hollywood in, like, the 30s or 20s or whatever. And everyone on that show was gay. Yeah. I mean, all famous people back in the day were gay. Like, why else would you want to be famous? Just so you could be gay. So you could hide being gay. I guess, like, that's where all the gay people do, all the other famous... or. Uh, Fame is the only way to find the other gay people. Santa? That's going to find him in your town. Santa Claus? Pretty gay. Gay. Yeah. Um, I wonder who the first gay guy was. Probably Adam and one yeah, of his sons. Yeah, I was going to say Adam. That's, he changed the story. Adam was fucking the same. Adam actually ate the apple and he was like, fuck Eve. It was her. Let's blame her. No one's not like her anyway. Um, yeah, Babe Ruth, Mary, fuck Usain Bolt, kill Bruce Lee. You want to fuck? Yeah, I guess you do want to fuck you, say Bolt. Hell yeah. Yeah. How fast? Yeah. He's the only man faster than me when it comes to nah, sex. You know he's cracking your shit, dude. He's got all that fast switch muscle. I'd be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be fucking up. I'd be like, you think four seconds is fast? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bruce Lee, I don't care about. I don't watch those movies, man. I don't watch those movies either, but. Uh, Hi-ya! I think it's because I've started getting into mixed martial arts. So I'm just like, oh, no, Bruce Lee's the man. Is he? I never give a fuck about him. Yeah. No, he's like 5'2". I could probably whoop his ass. Oh. No, you couldn't. Yeah, I could. No. I beat the shit out of Bruce Lee. Fast muscle movement, man. Yeah, he was like fast, but I'm He big. could do like the one-inch punch. What's There's true? no way you could beat up Bruce Lee. Like dodge bullets and shit? Yeah. I'll whoop his ass. You couldn't. Yeah, I could. No. I could beat up Bruce Lee. We could beat up Babe Ruth. I wouldn't want to beat up Babe Ruth. I could beat up Usain Bolt. No. Easily. <laughs> that man would. He'd run away. Yo, you know he got like a lot of his money taken by like scammers. Like upwards of like 40 million bucks. Why? How? And he got he got like it was like a bad investment. Uh, and this guy, he like ripped off a bunch of people. Hey, Tom Brady too. Yeah. Well, no, Tom Brady was being dumb. Yeah. This guy, uh, this was like a fake invest. Like the guy was full like fraud. Tom Brady was like, I think I have no more than everybody else. Uh, all right. What's your answer? I said I'm a fuck Babe Ruth. Yeah, yeah I probably agree with you. Cause fuck Bruce fuck Lee, I'll beat the shot of him. Or, It'd be fun to fuck Bruce Lee, probably too. It'd be fun to catch him. Yeah. Well, you just have to stand there, and he could like do crazy little oh, fuck that's a good moves point. on you. Yeah. 
You'd be like climbing all over you and stuff. Yeah. It's just a blur. The next thing you know, you're coming. Yeah. That'd be pretty tight. Yeah. And you get to fucking Asian. It's always fun. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. I got nothing bad to report home to. You have nothing bad? I have nothing bad to report home about having sex with Asian people. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah. Is that how we're going to end the episode? Sure. I'm tired. I want to take a nap. Yeah, we got up too early yeah. today, man. I've been up since 6.30. Life ain't fair. And now I have to go work a double. I'm going to go take a nap. I'm going to be the most miserable person in the world. Quit your job, Also, dog. Hormos has not stopped texting me asking me for a ride. <laughs> All this entire episode. Oh, really? Like, yeah. Bitch. It's also making me upset for whatever reason. Quit your job. No. Hey, to all our listeners, quit your job, dog. I quit my job, and the best thing that's ever happened to me happened to me. Hey, to all our listeners, especially the ones that are on Patreon, don't listen to Matt. Keep working. Keep keep that safety net. Oh, fuck. Good call. New Patreon subscriber. Hell yeah. Literally an hour before the show. What's up? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Jared. Hell yeah. What's up, Jared? Um, Yeah, maybe we'll do it at the beginning of the next episode. Too. Yeah. Oh, also, um, fuck. Damien? No? No, I did a show when you were gone um, in San Diego. And um, four people from the Big Humble came. Hell yeah. Really? Yeah. Sick. And I, one guy came up to me, and his name was, I believe, Wes. Okay. And I feel bad because I wrote it down, and I just looked for it, and I couldn't find it. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's Wes. I know what his Instagram handle is. Oh, maybe I'll just look at that. Yeah. But it doesn't say. Um. But he came up and said he was. Well, in the meantime, scenario. shout out to Damien and Alejandro. They were at the Comedy Store Wrestling Podcast on Wednesday. And uh, I'm still not getting used to it because people are always like, are you Morgan? I'm just like, what, what, what? have I done something to you? How would you know that? And they're like, I like the show. I'm just like, oh, tight. Thanks, man. Yeah. It's a little like, are yeah, you? Yeah, they like the show. It's when they when, when they start with, are you Morgan? I'm just like. Yeah. Who who the fuck are you? And you think they're serving yeah, you? Yeah. I, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. I don't know who have I offended in the don't past. Don't come up and say wait, they say are you Morgan? It's kind of funny. Are you Morgan? They don't know. Yeah, they don't recognize yeah. you. I guess Well they, a lot of people they do, yeah. They but you can't just be like, Hey. Let's have a code. Yeah. If you see us, be like, um Choop choop bing bong. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> say peekaboo Anton or peekaboo Apollo. <laughs> no. With, don't say choo choo bing bong. What'd you say? Choo choo ping pong. No. What? Choo choo ping pong's not good. You like ping pong? We like ping pong. We like trains. Choo choo ping pong. Choo choo ping pong. Yeah. All right, man. No, no please don't. No. <laughs> Bro, calling our listeners tater tots and having them say choo choo ping pong. <laughs> this is the worst podcast ever. Our catchphrase is choo choo ping pong. Also, you, I, the more I say it, the more I like yeah, it. Though. I know that you kept saying it, I kept liking it more, yeah. but I'm going to forget about this like I do after every single show when yeah. I said, and someone's going to come up to me and start screaming, choo choo ping pong. Yeah, I'm going to punch them right in the fucking yeah, they face. Gotta go. yeah. Whoever that is, get them out of here. That's crazy. You can't walk around saying choo choo ping pong. It's also fun to do at the very end of the episode. Yeah. So only the people that make, make it all the way. Choo choo ping pong. Only the two or three <laughs> listeners that listen to 100% of the episode. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you next uh, week. Stay humble. All right, guys.